Buenas noches. Hi, one second. Sorry. So, so. All good. Guys, let's move the microphone. Sorry, one second. It's kind of noisy. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there it is. So here we are. Welcome. I hope you're doing great. Seems like we're going to have a lot of new students. My name is Josely Navas. Nice meeting you. Um, I would like I would like for you to get to know each other first. Is everybody on the WhatsApp group? Yes. Everyone? Okay. Guys, let's keep the microphone muted unless you're going to say something, all right? Because it's really noisy. I don't know why. Thank you. That's why I'm muting. All right. Let's mute the microphone. Carlos. Thank you. Awesome. So we're going to go over the basics, first of all, right? Before we, we start. Give me one second. Let me share my screen. Is this um, is this the first time you're taking online classes for some of you? Is that your case? Anyone? Hello, Jocelyn. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Iris. If you want, you can call me Iris. And for me, this is the first one that I'm going to take an online class, and I am excited because of that. <laughs> So it's the first time. Great. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it and that you can nice adapt. You. Good night, Ishar. Hi, good evening. What's your name? My name is Misael Diaz and this is my first time in the online classes. Misael. Guys, uh, can you turn the cameras on please so I can see you? I don't see anybody. I see a bunch of black screens. Okay, there you are. That's better. Linda, I see you now. Kay Castellanos, what's your name? Karen, Katia, what is it? Hello, Jocelyn, is this your name? Yes. Yes, Jocelyn, no. Uh, hello, my name is Karina Castellanos. Oh, Karina, all right. Great. I'm probably, well, Karina, I can't remember. Hi, JC. JC, JC. <laughs> your microphone is muted. Hi, hi, hi. Roberto, you changed your name, Fatima. It's nice seeing you again. I didn't think it was going to be the case, but here we are. That's awesome. Yes, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let me share my screen with you. Everyone, keep the microphone muted unless you're going to say something. Please. And if I mute you, don't unmute it. All right. So um, let's go over the basics. So, you know, you have or you should be using earphones, headphones, whatever you have, right? Um, everyone, please turn your cameras on. If there is an issue and that it is preventing you from turning your camera on, please let me know. Like, oh, my camera is broken, but tell me a truth, all right? Or there is a problem and try to get something else. Because, yeah, it's better to see your faces to get to know you, that the other person has a chance to see you and interact instead of practicing with a um, black screen, because it's kind of uncomfortable. It doesn't feel too human when you do that. Okay. So let's please turn I, 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 on. I'm sorry. I just need a minute for turning on my camera. Okay, great. And wear a shirt, right? No shirt left in class. And keep your microphones muted at all times, unless you're going to participate you have a question or I ask you to read something. Also be prompt, okay? Because sometimes I would ask you to read something and it takes a while, so let's be ready to unmute it at any time, okay? And we're gonna be working on the platform until we complete it. The way we're going to work is basically a combination of these two things, which is the platform, okay? Plus a lot of speaking practice. 
the speaking practice is going to be related to whatever topic we're practicing on the platform, okay? And now let me ask you, does everyone have access? Is everybody on the WhatsApp group? Everyone? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Because I'm going to be sending you information there for the speaking practices. Who isn't? Sure. I'm not, in, I'm not in the WhatsApp group. Okay. So if you're not on WhatsApp yet, I would ask you to go to your email and there is a link there that says WhatsApp group. That's yes. very important. Okay. Click on it from your phone. They're going to be immediately added. So go to that email, the email you've received with the links and make sure you click on it. Let's do that right now, please, because we're going to start using WhatsApp right now. So I need you to be there. And does everyone have access to the platform? Is that taken care of? Has everybody tried to access the platform already? Yes, in my case, I, I have access. Okay. Because we're also going to start with this right now. Um, so if you don't have access to WhatsApp, yeah. it, sorry? I will check right now Then I have access to the platform, um, but I'm already in, in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Make sure you can access both tonight. We're going to start using them, okay? And you're yes, going to have right now. the link. Link to join the group. All right. Any questions about... Hold on, I'm going to mute you guys. Remember to be muted unless you're saying something. Thank you. So, do you have any questions for me? Any doubts? About the rules, about the course, about me, something? Hold on. What's your name? My name is Glenda. It's my hold on, hold on. One second. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Glenda, let's see where you are. Oh, no, it was not you. Okay, go ahead, Glenda. You were saying? Yes, I just have a question about the platform. I was looking at it, and I saw there are, like, five sections. I have a question about it. I just want to know if one section represents just, like, a week, or how is it? Because I didn't see the time or the dates for the lessons. That's a great question, actually. Um, let me see. Uh, since we have five sections, basically, we're going to be working on a section in a quarter every week. Okay. But usually we finish sooner. So the last week or the last days are to practice or to review things in the platform. That's it. So we do like a section and a half every week on average. Okay, and, and how do we know how many items do we need to to finish? You can do as week. many as you want, but as a rule of thumb, okay. I would say work on a section and a half every week. That's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? I have another question. Go ahead. Uh, what happens if we are not able to take a class online or, I mean, you we don't have the time to be here in, in the class in this life. In general, do you think, or? No, I mean, can we just access to the platform and complete the lessons, or? Um, well, the main thing you have to do, the main thing you have to do is complete the platform, all right? Because if you don't complete that, you cannot get your certificate. This is what we're measuring and what we're evaluating. So for you to get the certificate, you need to complete the platform. That is the first thing. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't be in class. If there is a problem and you can't be in class, you should inform. You can send a message through the group, the WhatsApp group saying what happened and why you're not going to be in class. Because uh, my previous students, the ones that have been with me for like three months, I think, they know that if they're not in class, I send them a message in the middle of the class. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Look at Ricardo, Roberto. 
She's like, yeah. <laughs> so I send you a message like 10 minutes later and I'm like, hey, are you going to be in class? Why? What happened? So if you don't want that to happen, it's better for you to tell me beforehand why you're not going to be in class so I know. And I don't have to go and message you, try to reach out to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Nope. Are we ready to start then? Yes. Oh yeah, so yes. a lot of people joined yes. right yes. now. Yes. That's awesome. Yes, yes please. please. Sure. Okay, so look, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, since I want you to get to know each other, we have a lot of new students, which is great. I'm happy. Like, I'm happy. <laughs> now, I am. So, I'll send you a message with an image through WhatsApp, all right? So what you have to do is you will see a message saying you've received an invitation, okay, right now after I make the group. So please make sure you click on accept. You're going to uh, receive a message saying you have been invited to join a breakout room, I think it says. So you should just click on accept, okay? Um, and discuss the questions that I'm going to be sending over WhatsApp, but you can start right now because it's going to take me one or two, or two minutes. You can start right now by asking um, the other person about their name, right, where they live and what their occupation is. You can start with these questions right now while I send you other questions for you to discuss. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you accept the invitation. Here we go. You're going to be in small groups of three or four. There. Everyone accept. Click on accept. Tap on accept. Let's do that. Jose Valmore, are you there? I'm a person trying to new girlfriend guy. Hi. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to give up. Okay. And what is your name? And my name is Carlos Enrique Alfaro. I am 20 years old. I live in Sonsonate. And so let me tell you about a little bit about myself. And I consider myself a good person. I am friend. I am a friendly person. I am a responsible person. But I think the best thing about me maybe is that I am an empathetic person. And I believe the empathy is too important nowadays because we are living a bad situation. So that's why I think empathy is too important. And also, well, for example, in my free time, um, I like to do my favorite hobbies, like playing video games or watching series or movies on Netflix, but I will say my all-time favorite hobby is reading books. I love reading books because I am a person who loves to new new things every single day. And yeah, I think this is about me. To learn new things. Carlos, is somebody else in your house studying English? Yeah. My cousin. Is he also in, with um, the same program? Corporativo? And uh, no. no, she's studying in other platform, and but it's like that platform is like uh, I don't remember the name, like like Open English. Ah, oh. <laughs> right. So the thing is, um, it, it sounds really really loud, Carlos. 
So okay. I have to mute the microphone, and then okay. when you when it's your turn to say something, because you hear her very loudly. Okay, I get it. I get it. All right, awesome. I get it. So let's see, Glenda, and I think you some okay. questions over WhatsApp so you can use those. Okay, I guess it's my time, right? It must in my turn. Yeah, you guys decide. Okay. Uh, well, my name is. Someone know. Everybody you can access. I, I don't understand you ask it. I can access the platform without any kind of problem. All right, awesome. Everyone can. So I sent I sent some questions through WhatsApp. Did you see them? Those are the ones that you're gonna discuss. Yeah. Okay. Are you talking about those? No, I'm sorry, we didn't get. Let's discuss those questions, okay? What is the first question, Inmar? Okay. Uh -huh. Inmar, would you if you were, mm -hmm. if you could only choose one vacation destination, where will you pick and why? Thomas? Sorry, I couldn't understand. Okay, so uh, the first question, JC, how would you answer that? Uh, vacation is in the where you pick and um, quite. I think I like to visit a uh, beach mm -hmm. because I like the sun, water, uh, Ladies in bikini. <laughs> <laughs> He's so honest. <laughs> JC, I had to work for it. I know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about yeah. Um, you? What is G.A. Chavez? What's your name? Hi, how are you? My name is Gerardo Alexander Chavez. Gerardo, okay. I'm going <clears> to <throat> put your name here. Nice Nice meeting you. Let me see if we name. Gerardo, yes. right? Gerardo Chavez. Yeah. Okay. If you can also they change the name so that people can call you Gerardo. Um, okay. So another question. Could you read one of the questions, Inmar? Yeah. Questions are on WhatsApp. Inmar Conde, is that your name? Hello? Inmar Conde, is that your name? Yes. Yes, that's my name. Okay. So what's the next question? Tell us. Sorry, I have a little Sorry. bit. This is the image. These are the questions we're discussing right now. I sent this through WhatsApp. Take the WhatsApp group. Do you have the question, Gerardo? I don't. Yes, 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 I have it. All right. I will read it. Yeah, go if ahead. If you were stranded on a desert island, what three and I would like to have the opportunity to practice another language with people who stuck in native languages. So that's why. Yeah, I would okay. like to. Oh. Yeah, me too. In my case, I would like to go right, to guys. visit. Uh, did you see the questions I sent, this image? I sent it through WhatsApp. And if you can discuss mm. those questions, please. Yes, we already did uh, two questions and we were talking about a uh, uh, vacation destination okay, and great. why. Food and owners. Because the, the life of, of, uh, of a dog is easy. You lay down when, whatever you want, whenever you, whatever you want. Uh, and whenever you want, you have food on your plate. Because I say uh, <laughs> a good, a good owner. <laughs> yeah, put no, in your plate. Sorry, yeah. Fatima. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, Blanca, is, that, is Blanca here? Yeah. Yes. Can you turn your camera Hello? on? Hello. I have problems with my camera. That's why I was telling them. Mm, okay. And then uh, uh, I see a face, but I see Huawei. What's your name? Oh yeah, let me let me change that. My name is Celia, and I was having connection issues too. I don't know why. Maybe because here it's raining. 
and that's why I was not activating oh. camera and also the audio. Oh, okay. Hi, Sally. Hi, <laughs> change your name, Celia, right? We need to change. Uh, yes, Celia. Let me see how. What's your last name? Uh, Pineda. Pineda. Thank you. Yes. Right, great. You guys can continue now. Thank Hi, Fatima. You. Okay. So, Celia. Uh, and they like cook marshmallows and and stuff. Uh, okay, I understand. I, I think I, I figured out. Um, what about you, Jose? What I do with you, Gary, with you if you were? Well, in, I guess uh, that Iceland. I have a, a well, a, a, a cell phone, I guess, because well, if you want to communicate with someone, I guess that maybe it's a good option. Uh, Study. Yes, of course. I studied some free course at the University of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Hello. What are you discussing? Hi. We are talking about you. <laughs> <Just kidding>. Really? <laughs> no, it's about the about the company uh, English Corporativo. How do <laughs> how do we we got the information about the course? Oh, that's great. Where we study. Josie, we, we, we are a bigger class. It's huge, right? I think it was merged or something. Or because of the pandemic, maybe a lot of people decided to study online. So in a way, it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. So Iris, do you have any problems with the camera at the moment? Yes, I am uh, saying to my classmate that uh, I am using a, ca a laptop that is not working properly, the camera. But tomorrow I'm going to change the laptop. I'm going to use a, a, a laptop that works well, the camera. Uh -huh. A laptop whose camera works, you can say. Oh, yes. Works. Yeah, welcome, guys. Okay, it's awesome having you. you. Did you see the questions I sent through WhatsApp? Did you discuss those? No. These are the questions. Look. No. Okay. Yep. We're discussing those. I'll give you two more minutes and then we're going to go back. No, no, no. I'm in the control tower. I am an air traffic controller. So we give the service to the, or the, or the pilot in the airplane. And okay. we help them to, I mean, to make landing, and we give all the instructions uh, to the pilot uh, to keep all the air traffic service like uh, secure. Okay. Do you work at the airport? Yes, I'm an air traffic controller in Sepa. Where? Sepa. Sepa. Oh, yep. I don't know. I don't know where it is. All right. Um, so are you discussing the questions that I sent through WhatsApp? Mm -hmm. no, I sent an image with the questions. Hi, Cindy. And Hi. <laughs> Karina, you said, right? My pleasure. Yeah, yes, Karina. My pleasure. I'm probably going to type Karina Castellano so people can call you Karina, all right? It's important to have yep. your first name here. Uh, yeah, no. Make sure you change that right later. Okay, you see the questions? Yeah. I would go check everyone else. Because they are free unless you are like a perico, right? <laughs> you have to. Barrot. <laughs> uh -huh. And um, I think it's a bird for a the bird. freedom that they what? have. What kind of service? Where are your student friends? I'm studying at the National University, Universidad de Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the other animal are wild. Uh, yes. It's familiar for me. <laughs> Blanca, Blanca. For yeah, I work. Yeah. Yeah, the architect. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 
Karina? Uh, me too, I want to be a, a bear because it's, I think it's, it, could, it could be beautiful to fly and see the mountains, go to the beach. <laughs> it could be beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmetic products. No way. Um, Hi. Hi. Hi, Josie. Hi, it's nice seeing you again. <laughs> Let you in class. Katia, I don't see you. I think you said you had an issue with the camera, right? No? Oh. Let me see. I see a table with mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't I I don't know. Ah. Nice. All right, there you are. It's better seeing you. And Leila, nice meeting you. Oh, Hi. I haven't seen you guys. I checked everyone except you, but here we are. Uh, did you finish the questions? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we're back. back. Yeah, you know. I have 20. Everyone mute the microphone, please. Uh, yes. Great. Hold on. Katia, mute your microphone, please. Gabriel, everyone. Jose, how many people do we have? 25. So, guys, I see 25 people counting me, so 24. Right. I would like to see the same number of people tomorrow. And... Can I see the microphone, clear. please? <laughs> Mute the microphone, thank you. All right, Luke. So yes, I would like to see the same number of people tomorrow. All classes are big because of what's going on, I would say, but it doesn't mean it's not effective, all right? If we cooperate, if we turn the microphones off when needed, we only speak when we have to participate, it should work. I'm telling you this because last month I had a really big group of 30 people and it, it worked well. Everybody participated and everyone joined classes every day. So we shouldn't have any issues, okay? Even if it's a big group. And you're gonna get to know a lot of people. How did you feel in the small group? Are you comfortable now? Yes. Did you meet someone new? Very yes. All right, I'm glad. Okay, and you're going to get to talk to more people tonight, later, to practice, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. You can send, if you need help, uh, you have questions about the platform or anything, you can always send a mess uh, message through the WhatsApp group. And everyone here can cooperate and answer questions, all right? Every Teacher, oh, this is yeah. my first class. I don't, I don't, uh, are in the group of WhatsApp. Could you do me a favor and go to the email where you found the link to this class? There was an email that said what link you should join and the platform, the WhatsApp group is also there. You simply have to click on it because I don't have that link. Can you go back to the email? We're gonna work on the platform right now, by the way. Okay, so let me share my screen with you. Here it is. Let's access the platform. We're gonna go section one. Okay, let's work together. And if you're in class every night, guys, there's no need for you to work on the platform as homework because we work on the platform in class every night. So if you're not absent, you can make progress as a group, all right? But if you miss a class, then you have to do it as homework and be up to date. But right now, let's start working on it, section one. And here's the objective. Okay. Click on it. Teacher. Okay. Yes. I have a question regarding to this. Uh, I download an application, and I don't know if it is okay that I work on the application or I have to log in into the link. Mm. I don't understand. Are you saying you want to work from your home, uh, from your phone rather than your computer? Um, I don't know if that's possible. You can work from the phone. I mean, if you don't have a laptop, you can join from the phone, take classes there, and also work on the platform mm -hmm. from the phone. Yeah, you can do that. As long as you're it's, working it's the on same. 
it's the same content. I already verified and it's the same content um, as you are showing in the, on the screen. But I don't know if it is okay or we have like, a, we have to complete the, the exercise on the link that appears on the email. Not really, just the platform. That's all you have to do basically. Work on the platform, okay. finish it, that's it. And get your diploma at the end of it. Yep. Oh. Okay, perfect. But Thank we're going to work together as well. Great. Um, let me see. Jose Cornejo, can you read the objective, please? Remember you're muted. Oh no, you're not. Jose. I don't hear him. No. Mm -mm. Okay, Gabriel Alberto, read the objective, please. Mm, okay. Uh, one lesson objective. And by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to use relative pronouns who and that a subject. Relative pronouns. That was misspelled. Not relative. No, it's not your fault. All right, let's watch the video, guys. I would recommend you, I would highly recommend you to get a notebook like this, a physical one, and take notes, okay? So every time you see a video, write down stuff, and that way you will be engaged, and you can study later, all right? Because watching the video itself can be boring, so take notes, pay attention, imagine this is a class, all right, in, in a classroom. Hello, everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relevant friends who aren't too serious or that. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples, and at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They are into serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who are into serious. Or you could say, I like guys that are into serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in grade up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary. You could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. All right. So whenever you use adjectives, what you're going to have in this uh, second statement is going to be uh, the verb to be either positive or negative. Okay. Um, and then the and then that's going to follow the adjective. And so what I want you to notice at this time is how we take these two pieces of information and we combine them together with the usage of the relative pronouns who or that. So let me give that example now. I like guys who aren't too serious. I like guys that aren't too serious. Now, what I want to explain here is that you can either use the relative pronoun who or you can use the relative pronoun that. And also what I want you to notice is that in um, this statement, so they will disappear. The pronoun here is they, that disappear. And we changed it to they, uh, to, and we changed it to who. 
or we changed it to adapt. Okay, so I like guys who are into Sears. This is on our first example. Let me talk about the second example now. And the reason this one is different is because we're no longer going to use adjectives. Uh, so that changes a little bit. Uh, but again, it's the same concept as previously. What we want to do here is we want to combine two pieces of information. What are those two pieces of information? Well, I like guys. That's one piece of information. And then they have a good sense of humor. Now, in this case, notice that we're using a verb. Um, and that's because we're using a noun to... Uh, mention the kind of people that we like to hang around with. So I like guys or I like friends. I mentioned that you can change this to whatever you like. Um, that phrase could change to something else as well. So I like the way that you would change this is to say something similar will happen and that is that uh, the uh, pronoun on the second uh, piece of information will disappear and that will disappear by either who or by using that. So in other words, the statement will state, I like guys that have a good sense of humor, or I like guys who have a good sense of humor. Now, let me get you to do a few examples. I'm, we're going to do one last one together, and then I'm going to have you do a few more. We want to take these two pieces of information. I like to meet people. They are sociable. So we got two pieces of information, and what we want to do here is we want to put these two together. We're just going to remove the pronoun they, and we're going to change it for a relative pronoun, either who or that. So that was quite simple. I like to meet people who are sociable. And I mentioned you can either say, I like to meet people that are sociable. Oh, that's me right there. <laughs> okay. Um, let's practice, guys. Hold on. Here. So I guess you get the structure, right? Can you give me an example quickly before we start practicing? Volunteer. From the ones that appear as example? Or you can um, modify it. It says, I like guys. Uh, and using the relative pronoun, mm -hmm. um, who, hola, 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 hola. I like guys who, I don't remember no, no, the no, one that no, I process no, no, example. No, you can give me another one. Okay. Um, I like guys who, uh, I, I don't know if it is okay, but I like guys who I I can um, take a lot of coffee or <laughs> drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> I don't know if it is correct. Why you like guys who can drink a lot of coffee? Yeah, because I love coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who can drink a lot of coffee. All right, with the microphone, please. Let me give you some examples, guys. That was good. Thank okay. you. All right, now I'm going to make it, uh, a, how do you call this thing? Singular. <laughs> there it is. Look, because this is plural, right? Look, this is plural. So the conjugation of this, um, this is a modal anyway, but this has to I agree with this right here. So imagine if I say, I'd prefer a neighbor who, let's compliment it. Tell me a real example, guys. The very neighbor who? Uh, who can be respectful? Yeah, let's try to use another, another verb. Not only can. Is honest. Who is honest? Is honest. All right. Oh, so loud, guys. All right, mute the microphone. Who is honest? Who are in noise? <laughs> who are in noise? Who are in noise? Who are, who are quiet? Who aren't noisy? Is the second one correct? 
No, teacher. The second one is not correct. Why? It's a nice because oh, neighbor is singular. singular. Neighbor is singular. Singular. Yes. Isn't. Isn't. Right? I would like a neighbor who doesn't who doesn't gossip. You know the meaning of that? They're like, hey, did you see my? Did you see she's pregnant? She has a boyfriend, and they're always yeah. gossiping. Okay, that that kind of neighbor. So you would say, I prefer a neighbor who doesn't gossip. All right. We always have that neighbor. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah pay attention to this all right and well from the previous activity i didn't give you feedback but i wanted to say um the pronunciation of this what's the pronunciation of this guys mountain yeah very good this one beach island island don't go island. around island. insulting beach. people all right don't go around insulting people <laughs> be careful this is long, it's beach. If you don't make it long, you're saying something else and you know what it is. <laughs> it's what the pronunciation and then he insulted me and I'm like, I, I'm not, just trying to help you here. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> for that. Anyway, make it island. long, right? Beach, and this is island. This S is mute. Island. Silent, all right, island. In here is like mouth, right? Mouth. Mount. Mountain. Mountain. Yes. Mountain. And you know, it's funny because you don't pronounce this AI, you simply say mm, mm, like mountain. mountain. Listen, listen, mountain, right? But make sure you say mound. All right, that's it. So let's, let's discuss, all right? Make some examples, but basically try to be natural. And we're going to be using, we're going to be expression. It's microphone. All right, we're going to be using I like, and we're going to use I'd for fair. All right, those two we're going to use right now, and I'll give you the list of people. And those are, we're going to talk about a boyfriend or girlfriend. If you're already married, this is not applicable, okay? You don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Then you can also talk about a neighbor, right? A colleague or colleagues, classmates, politicians, uh, bosses, and also, I don't know why I want to include this, but bus drivers, right? I will give you an example, but I want you to have a discussion respecting the structure. For example, I will say, I like, I like politicians who don't steal money. This is impossible, but I would like them, all right? So talk about each one of this. Give an opinion, all right, about each one of this. Is that clear? Are you ready to practice? I'll send you the structure anyway to the WhatsApp group so you can have it. Okay, ready? Or you need one more example? Ready. No, ready. Awesome. We're going to work with different people this time. So first, introduce yourself, please, and then start working. Here we go. Four. Mm -mm. Okay, active invitation, please. Accept, accept.
the problem. I am having issues with the connection on my internet, so I couldn't hear too much all the video that the teacher was talking about. I don't know, you can help me to explain a little bit <laughs> about that video. We're going to make some examples right now. Did you see the image ah. of the WhatsApp? Mm -hmm. Open it in, there you can see the structure. So you're going to make sentences talking about what you would like as a boyfriend, colleague, classmate, and what you would prefer. Simply follow the structure, that's it. Okay, Karina, let's talk about a classmate. Give me a sentence. I like, what kind of classmates do you like? Uh, I like classmates who likes to speak a lot. <laughs> uh -huh, who like, because it's plural, right? Classmates is plural, so the verb has to be conjugated in the plural form. I like classmates who like to speak a lot. Who like to speak a lot, okay. Yes, if you say singular, then you need letter S, all right? Very good, good example. What about you, Jose? Um, well, I I like classes, but um, well, I I going to talk about the girlfriend. I like girlfriends who are, for example, I don't know if if it's a, who are what I'm sorry. Yeah, I like girlfriends who are flat. Flat. Uh, well, uh, yeah, but I don't know if the right question, uh, right sentence. I don't think so. What do you mean? <laughs> Son planas, me está diciendo. Um, so, <laughs> I don't think that's what uh, you mean. Think what is the word? I can I, help you. Uh, well, I like girlfriends who are um, friendly. Okay, great. JC and so on. Next time you will speak about a boss, a colleague, and so on. Okay. Continue. That are funny and that you can talk with them and, and have a little uh, a little fun uh, even if you are in your job. Okay. Even if you are I at work. I prefer that one too. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> at work. So, about neighbors, yeah, neighbors. <laughs> because I, I, I live in a neighbor where people, I, I think people don't know each other very well, including me. I, I, I even. I like. Um, I like na neighbor. Now it's your so it's, turn. Uh, I like I like girlfriend uh, who who likes to read. Who like? You like what? Because you said you said girlfriend. <laughs> who, who, so who likes girl? to read? No, in that case, I, I, would, yeah. I prefer a girlfriend who likes to read, just one. Ah, okay. I prefer a girlfriend who likes to read. Likes to read, in that case, you use letter S. Okay. What about you, Noe? Okay. Um, I prefer a girlfriend who uh, likes football. Likes, you need letter S if it's singular. Who likes like, football? Like uh, American football. football or soccer? Um, I don't know this uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. like, you mean in English, uh, um, proactive. 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 Yeah, proactive. Okay, Jose. Okay. I will prefer a girlfriend who is smart. Okay. Okay. I prefer a girlfriend who's smart. Connect those two S's, right? Who's smart. Oh, okay. Who's smart. Okay. Awesome. Smart. What about colleagues, guys? Well, in my case, 
I will prefer colleagues than don't be that rude. That aren't. Aren't be, but I'm sorry, aren't rude with people. Yeah, good. That, that works. In my, uh -huh. Yeah, in my case, uh, I will prefer colleagues uh, who are um, friendly. Uh, no, say colleagues. 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 <sighs> Colleagues. Yes, that works. Very good. We're going to go back now. I don't understand. I don't listen to you. You are in mute, Jocelyn. Yes. Here I am. That's okay. Okay. Um, great. Did you? How many sentences did you make? A lot. Three. Two. Three. Oh, we didn't three. have enough time then. <laughs> we made three. Three. In my group, yes. We, we made three well, samples. We made Four. three and a half. Three and a half. So we have <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, I would recommend you write a sentence for each one. I didn't write teachers. I'm going to write teachers here. All right. So write a sentence for each one and send them to the group. Okay. It's really easy. It shouldn't take long, but make sure you don't make these mistakes because I heard them a lot. Look, I prefer girlfriends who isn't rude. Is that okay? Pay attention to the subject, guys. So if this is plural... The verb is plural, right? Okay, or you can make it singular and say, I prefer a boss who doesn't, because this is singular, but you have to say a boss, right? Who doesn't uh, get mad. I don't know, for example. So make sure you pay attention to that subject here and conjugate this accordingly, all right? Um, any questions about this? Guys, send this to a group, okay? Finish um, writing sentences here and send them to the group, all right? I'll check on some of them, not all of them, but some of them. Write sentences and with this, yeah, send it to the WhatsApp group. In a, single in a single message, don't send six separate messages, all right? Just one, one message with the six examples. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight sentences, yes. Okay. And with this, we have finished the class. It was short, wasn't it? Time flew. It's been oh, an yeah. hour already, yeah. We're yeah. done, we finished. Yeah. That was wow. fast. Yep, that was very fast. All right, thank you very wow. much, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, Noe, time flew this time. Maybe because yeah. there are a lot of people. Give me one second, guys, time don't leave. All right, I'm going to take a picture with all of you and send it to the group, okay? Because I want all of you in class tomorrow. So I will remember your faces. It's not a threat. Okay. It's an invitation, a friendly invitation. <laughs> all right, smile on the count on three. One. Uh, print screen, where is it? Oh, here it is. One, two, three, go. I look so tired. Another wow. one. <laughs> no paralyzed my my everyone <laughs> my face is paralyzed all right again one two three there it is i'll Yee. send it to you thank you guys Yee. please be in class all right see you tomorrow thank you thank have a good night bye 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 have a good night thank you have a good night